What's up? This is Vin from Vin TV. I'm back. I have a new co-host here. This is Jamie. You might have seen her in the motorcycle video or the bar stoop video that we haven't put out yet, but she's in that shooting shit up. Mm -hmm. This video is going to be a guide to teaching men how to dress to get ass. Or not so much ass, I just put it that way, but a guide to teaching men what women like to see us in. Not necessarily what we like to wear. So let's get this started off with the... Uh, we're going to start... We're going to work our way down the body. So the first thing I have is stupid facial tattoos. Women don't like seeing a fucking... They don't like teardrops, right? Of course not. They don't like teardrops because most of the time I don't mean you shot or killed anybody. Um, they don't like stupid ass things on your neck or dumb ass tattoos on the side of your face like a Tweety Bird with a fucking Target reticle around it. It's not sexy to them. It looks stupid. So think about those facial tattoos because that's a, a lifetime fucking commitment. What do you got? You're wearing glasses indoors, you're an automatic douchebag. Seriously, that's not okay. And if you wear it on the back of your head, you're even a bigger douchebag. Wow. <laughs> I, uh, I, I said that in another video too. Douchebag. Dark room sunglasses, douchebag. So I'm glad women feel that way too. So do I. What else you got? Let's see. Anything embroidered, bejeweled, rhinestones? Come on, guys. Leave it up to the ladies. We're talking about t-shirts. So all you men out there wearing fucking t-shirts with jewels on them, with phoenixes on the back, with like Ed Hardy shit. I mean... So not attractive. Target, Target shit. Like, you know the funny t-shirts at Target? Yeah, that's fun if you're with your homeboys, but with a female, well, it's no. not sexy. Not at all. You're not going to get laid that way. Definitely what, not. What else you got? Tank tops all the time? Really, they're supposed to be me meant to wear under a t-shirt. So please wear them under a t-shirt and not just as a t-shirt. It's yeah. retarded. Even if you're buff. Although, even with the muscles? Like, even when, if dudes are all ripped up and shit and walking around not all Miami? Not all the time. Not all the time. It's not sexy? No. So that's so that's much. the same as t-shirts all the time. T-shirts also, you can't have t-shirts all the time. You have like, to mix it up. You gotta put a collar shirt on every now and then. Just. Please. Try and dress it up and look nice. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, I, we interviewed 10 women and they all came up with this shit here. So try and dress nice, try and look good every now and then. T-shirts are cool. If you want to go out with your homeboys and not get any ass, then dress this way. <laughs> if you want to get some ass and get females to look at you, you gotta look sexy. It's not sexy. All right, so we got T-shirts all the time, fucking collar shirt every now and then. What else? Next up, tidy whities If you wear tidy whities I'm sorry, are you a grandpa already? That's not okay. And especially, we don't want to see your poop streaks on there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wear some black chonies, okay? Wear black ones so we can't see your shit stains. <laughs> Pretty That's much. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Thanks. First, I think there's a bigger problem here. That you have shit stains <laughs> is, a, is a problem. Wipe, go front to back and alternate it a few times. <laughs> Like, even if you gotta wipe seven times, you might use a lot of toilet paper, but like go front to back a few times. <laughs> you shouldn't have shit stains for one. Exactly. But tidy whities don't work, girls don't like it. Like you get her home from the bar and you're taking your clothes off and you got some some Superman <laughs> underwear on. You like, she's yeah. gonna be like, I have to go. Exactly. It's my grandmother kid I need to wash my hair. I gotta wash my hair. Is that one of the excuses? Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> um we also I don't like velour suits. I saw a motherfucker today. I was waiting outside here in front of my building. This fool walked by in a burnt orange velour suit, top to bottom, but he was walking. No car. <laughs> it's like you spent all your money on that whack ass suit and now you ain't got no car to drive, so that's bullshit. Uh, baggy shirts. I hate fucking baggy shirts. It, it, you can't be like a dude that wears a medium and then you got like a 3X shirt on and then you got your pants all the way down to your fucking calves with your underwear showing. That's just tacky. I mean, I, I guess it works if you're in Gardena or somewhere like there. Compton. Might as well call it a dress. You got a fucking dress on. <laughs> you got a dress on with with little tiny jeans on. So, what else you got? Short shorts. Seriously, guys, it's not the '80s, and nobody wants to see your junk. That's not okay. You guys don't like seeing our hearts beat through our balls. <laughs> Not especially. No. <laughs> no. I thought. I mean, I thought that might have been a plus. <laughs> It's like I can see his pulse. He's got like good stamina. Maybe this might be good. So uh, we got that uh, capri pants. And speaking of shorts, because there's shorts that are too short that are like thigh high shorts, where yeah. you can see your balls hanging out the bottom. That's no gross. One wants to see that. No one wants to see nuts out the bottom. But there's also capri pants for men. I don't know if these are capri pants that are made for men, <laughs> or it's men just rolling their shit up or wearing really short pants. But that's kind of gay. Like. 
And not that gay is bad, I guess, but it's... You're not LL Cool J. <laughs> See, you gotta be a certain kind of guy. Like, wearing pink and shit, yeah. you gotta be a certain kind of guy who can pull off pink, who can wear Louis and, and Gucci and all that shit, and have a purse, a Louis purse, but it's not a purse, it's a man bag. <laughs> you gotta be a rich motherfucker to be able to pull that off, and us regular guys can't do that. Exactly. What else we got? Anything that's baggy, oversized pants that hang below your ass? Come on, seriously? Like, do you keep all of your belongings in there and that's why it weighs your pants down? And then your ass starts to show? Because nobody wants to see your ass. That's not sexy? No, not Sagging at all. Sagging is out? Not at all. When was, was sagging in? Was that like 90s? Um, yeah, probably, but it ain't the 90s no more. That was cool in high school. No more sagging, guys. No. And on the opposite of sagging, skinny jeans. This is touchy for me because I'm a big guy. Skinny jeans are okay if you're skinny already. Like, you can wear them and you look okay. Like, if you're a real slim dude, skinny jeans work for you. If you're a guy like my size, with big ass legs and shit, <laughs> you can't put on skinny jeans, dude, because I can still see your pulse through your balls. <laughs> skinny jeans are out for fat dudes. I know it's True just, that. there's just certain styles that you can't embrace. And unfortunately, guy, we're out of this one. We're out of this one, so I'm sorry. What else we got? Let's move on to shoes. Shoes are a big one. That'll make or break your outfit. And if you're wearing anything Velcro, seriously, you're obviously lazy. And you gotta be too. Come on. Just tie it up. No, I can't tie my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> can't tie them. I know a guy that slips into it. You know who you are, motherfucker. <laughs> I know a dude that doesn't even tie his shoes. He just keeps them tied. He slips them on. You're gonna be watching this later. Watch. Lazy. Lazy Lame. motherfucker. Bend over and tie your shoes, you lazy <laughs> son of a bitch. So it's, here for me, shoes, Crocs. I think Crocs are so fucking, I mean, if you're a doctor and you're going in and out of surgery, that's one thing, but if you're walking around with Crocs on, I hate that. I hate, I, dudes that wear Uggs, you should shoot them on sight. There should be a new law in California. If a dude has Uggs on, Ugg boots, I don't care what style they are, you got on Uggs, you, you're gonna get shot on sight. So you should watch your back and wear a vest. And then also Toms. I got a lot of fucking shit on this one, but Toms are women's shoes, at least I feel like they are. For me, anybody, like a guy has to be ready to fight and scrap or run and hit a fence. If you got on Toms or sandals or flip flops, I feel like you're vulnerable to getting your ass kicked or you can't run away from cops. Exactly, it's an automatic trip fail. Trip fail, I like that. <laughs> so Crocs, Uggs, and Toms, trip fail. There you go. What else you got for shoes? Socks with sandals. Guys, come on. I honestly don't understand this. Unless you're going to the curb to grab the newspaper and then coming back and reading the paper on the pot, then that's fine. But if you go outside, that is not okay. Please never ever wear socks with sandals. This is tacky. Oh, totally. Let's say you were at a bar and a dude had socks and sandals on. You didn't see him. No. And you thought he was hot, and then you guys get out. Like, you stand up from behind the bar, and you're ready to walk out. Totally breaks it. That's it? Like, peace out, homie. I'm done. Wow. You almost got some ass. <laughs> you were that close to ass. And now it's gone. It's over. It. So, um, let's end on fucking jewelry. What do you think about men and jewelry? If you wear too much jewelry, you obviously care way too much about your looks. I mean, it's okay to care about your looks, but don't care more than a girl does. Because then you obviously take too long to get ready, and you're just being a feminine girl now. Just be a man. I don't wear jewelry. I mean, I wear a watch. But uh, I don't really do jewelry. But the way I feel about it, one thing is uh, chokers and shit, like men wearing little tiny necklaces like females. Puka shells. I think puka shells is out. Is that in the 90s? Yeah, that's Most totally of these motherfuckers ain't even from gone. Hawaii anyway. Mm -mm. Puka shells are out and gay, but like bad gay, not gay for all the gay people out there. Not like gay, <laughs> gay. Like you're cool, I guess. Um, and thumb rings are my favorite because a dude with a thumb ring on, he's like accentuating that finger. He loves this finger right here. And you know what you do with that finger? That finger is going in your butt, ladies, when you're not looking. <laughs> Don't trust a guy with a thumb ring because he will put it in your butt when you're not looking. So um, that's Beware. all we got for uh, men's fashion. We will have some more stuff, men's dating tips, guide to what not to do. We can do some shit for women, you know, whatever. So I'd like to thank Jamie for being here. Thanks for and, having me. And uh, fuck you guys, I'm out. <laughs>